What's up? This is Squad2448. We're following the 2017 Oregon Farms video. Today, we'll be harvesting canola for the first time with the John Deere Harvester. We'll be hopping in the 2017 Ford F350 Super Duty. We'll have to watch out for traffic as it does speed by, and we'll be making our way over to the farm shop, which is just around the corner. I do have the brand new auger wagon with the John Deere tractor at the field ready to go, and we'll have to get the semi truck with a grain trailer also ready to go but we'll first get harvesting and this is the first time farming here on this brand new map very exciting for us and this will be the start of a brand new farming series which will be pretty cool and if you haven't already I do recommend you go check out the setup video where we got all of this and brought it over here so as you guys can see we're coming over here to the John Deere harvester garage take a look at this it has tracks very nicely done it's a John Deere S 690i pretty cool and we also do have the header already at the uh, field it's a little bit easier having a little bit of equipment already there at the start of the video so we turn our beacon lights and hazard lights on and we'll be cruising down the road and if this was a pretty far drive we'll be hopping in the Mac with the low boy and we'll be transporting it over there but it's just around the corner and it's very close by which is pretty cool and this is field 15 one of these smaller fields here on the map which is pretty cool you guys can see the header and the John Deere straight in have it ahead of us and if you guys would like to see more farming here on the channel let me know down below in the comments I think that this could be a very cool new series for us which will be pretty cool I do like bringing new series to the channel but as you guys can see we are just about here and we'll be doing field 15 with canola and uh, this goes pretty fast 18 miles per hour for this harvester and you guys can see that's a brand new auger wagon that I found very cool and if we do get that full we will be emptying that into the grain trailer we'll wait for traffic to go by looks like looks like they do not want to go by please go by make it a little bit easier for us so we'll first kind of outline the field and uh, the traffic on this map is pretty uh busy and they do not want us in their way so we're going to get started off we'll switch back over here unfold the combine all right so as you guys can see it is starting to unfold it does take just a little bit of while but this is one very large john deere Harvester it looks pretty cool and we do have to pay back that giant loan that we did take out from the bank So we'll have to continue to harvest and continue to sell a lot of grain And if there is a great demand which we'll be checking a little bit later on today We will be uh, selling all of it trying to get the most money we can for all of the grains But this is pretty cool We are harvesting canola for the first time and this harvester is pretty cool So we'll be doing a few passes then we'll be kind of giving it off to our workers to do while we uh, get the grain trailer and a few other things set up. And we also do have to cultivate this. So before the end of today, we'll also get the cultivator set up. I would like to thank each and every one of you for the continued support on the daily content. You guys really showed a lot of support on the setting up for the farm. And if you guys really do enjoy this, we'll be moving farming videos to the main one of the day a few days a week, which should be pretty cool. So let me know down below in the comments. And also give me a like if you guys would like to see more. But this John Deere tractor is really efficient. I really do like it a lot. And the goal of this farming series is to use all these really nice mods, try to stay away from the in-game equipment as much as we can, since there's so many uh, other features of those equipment, and, I mean, these are some pretty cool epic mods. As you guys can see, I mean, this tractor, uh, this... As you guys can see, this combine is doing one great job. Very fast, very efficient combine, and I think we'll kind of head back this way and when we do we'll be hiring the worker and we might run into a problem with them not doing exactly how we have to so we might run into that and uh, I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work but I really do like this map the fields aren't rectangles or squares which is pretty nice they do have some bends turns and it changes it up uh, compared to the regular like rectangle fields but I really do like this field and this is actually one of the smallest ones if we come over here you guys can see we are on field 15 which is canola I mean that's a pretty medium sized field here on the map and it is actually pretty large so maybe we'll be doing some multiplayer have you guys come in and help out with this farm uh, run dual combines right behind each other and stagger that will be pretty cool so like I was saying I think we'll probably have to do a lot of this off camera just because it's a very long harvest and uh, we aren't making too much headway so we'll kind of uh, continue through this and I think we'll uh, 
uh, probably hire a worker while we go get the uh, cultivator tractor set up. So we'll definitely hire a worker. Let's see how the worker does. If they go in a straight line, looks like they will. And uh, they aren't going to be going in the shape of the field, which isn't the best. We'll have to kind of unhire. We'll have to do it ourselves. And I will have to do a little bit of this off camera just because uh, this takes way too long to do. We are just about halfway done harvesting this canola field, and the John Deere harvester is just about full. So once it gets full, we'll be backing up and turning 90 degrees to make sure that the pipe is not over the grain because we do not want to drive through the crop. So as you guys can see, we are full, and we'll have to kind of turn this off now, back up, we'll put out the pipe, and I want to be as realistic as we can with this farming series. So as you guys can see, we are just about here, and this will be it for harvesting for today, and we'll kind of switch over to the John Deere. We are now here in the John Deere 7930 tractor. We'll wait for traffic to go by. We'll turn it on and we'll be going over there. And as you guys can see, this is one very cool auger wagon that I found. It looks awesome and it has a pretty cool dumping animation. So we'll be kind of coming around here, doing a turn, and then we'll kind of be unloading the harvester. While it is unloading, we will be switching over to the main farm. We'll be hopping in the case and we'll be getting it all ready for us to do some uh, cultivating before we end today so as you guys can see we are unloading the canola we'll keep the tractor running and this is pretty cool i really do like farming looks awesome and take a look at that farming setup that's pretty cool we'll be switching over here to the forward f350 and you guys can see that the main farm is very nicely done we did set it up if you haven't already seen that i do recommend you do we'll be coming over here and it opening up these garage doors. I really do like these garage doors. They are pretty cool, but we'll kind of open up the cultivator one also. I do like to keep a lot of the equipment indoors out of the weather, but we'll hop in this. We'll kind of pull forward and we'll attach, and this is one very nicely done case. It is a modded tractor. has a few uh, features that are different, and it does have IC. But as you guys can see, we are backing up here to the cultivator. We'll start cultivating and then we'll be calling it a day. It's a pretty short day of farming, but like I was saying, if we do get a lot of support on this video we will be doing a uh, farming sim Oregon farms as the main video of the day a few days a week which should be pretty cool we'll turn our beacon lights and hazard lights on and as you guys can see this just about fits on the road we are just about halfway off also so we do have to be pretty cool pretty large tree coming up wow it's bit challenging driving large uh, tractors on the roadway we'll wait for this car to kind of come over here and we'll kind of cross over as you guys can see that's a gooseneck header trail which is pretty cool and uh, that looks awesome just about there so as you guys can see that we'll kind of finish out emptying then we'll be unloading that into the grain truck we'll start cultivating but I hope you guys enjoyed today's farming video let me know down below in the comments should we do more Oregon farms videos thanks for watching have a great day and subscribe for more